Today I'm going to be taking a look at a masterpiece from the House of Galan. This one is my favourite from the Lom EDL line and this is the Eau de Parfum Flanca. Welcome to Mugs Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to Mugs Frags. I'm Paul and this is day three of my Fragrance 365 project where I'll be talking about a different fragrance every day for a whole year. I've got some exciting new releases on the way to Mags Frags HQ so I will be doing a, a couple of unboxing and first impressions videos very soon uh, so make sure to keep your eyes peeled for those. Uh, but for now we're travelling back a few years to the year of 2016 when Galan released the Eau de Parfum Flanca to the EDL line. This followed the original version from 2014 and then came the Cologne in 2015. Uh, other releases included the Sport version in 2017, the Intense in 2018 and finally the Cool in 2019. Uh, there's also a new release for 2020 uh, that's called the Extreme version or Extreme um, and that's just been, re uh, been released in France so I've placed an order for that one and I will be reviewing that one as soon as it arrives. Uh, so for now let's just dive in and take a look at this one. Yes this is a creamy gourmand fragrance that centres around the note of almond. It also has a prominent note of cherry that I pick up on straight away from the first spray. It's a beautifully blended unisex fragrance that has a touch of powderiness, but it's the sweet fruitiness that provides the main aroma. It opens up with a touch of freshness from the bergamot and the spices, but after a few seconds, you can instantly detect that this is heading straight towards being a smooth, sweet fragrance. Uh, the vanilla and the tonka bean provide the sweetness with that cherry note running alongside. There's also a touch of leather there from the start and this stays uh, throughout the dry down. This one is a seductive and mysterious scent that has a unique niche quality about it. Yes, the notes in this one are bergamot, almond, lavender, rosemary, thyme, Bulgarian rose, vanilla, incense, cherry, tonka bean, sandalwood and leather. Yeah, the bottle retains its original form and it comes in this square beveled bottle with chunky glass. Uh, the EDP version has an amber band that runs all the way around the edge of the bottle. I don't know if you see that there and then the text normally comes in uh, black and orange with a bright orange uh, border around the logo area. Uh, this one has a really premium quality feel about it. Uh, there's an embossed logo on top of the cap, I don't know if you can see that there, um, as well as one on the inside of the cap as well. There's also a uh, logo on the atomizer, right at the top of the atomizer there, and the spray quality from the atomizer is really nice as well. It's got a really nice, fine, wide uh, spray. Uh, I believe that in recent reformulations, uh, the bottle now comes uh, without the amber band around the edge. And I've read in uh, some forums that people have thought that uh, purchased a fake uh, because the new bottles have just got a clear edge. Uh, the cap is unfortunately not magnetic. It's a clip, uh, click on cap. Uh, but it feels nice and heavy and substantial. So the presentation, um, yeah, premium quality as you'd expect from a Galan. This is one of very few sweet fragrances that I'd wear even in high heat because it's not a sweetness that's cloying or annoying. Uh, it's probably best suited to spring and autumn seasons and it would be great as a date night scent. I would say this is a hybrid sort of fragrance and can be worn by pretty much anybody but it's got a fairly mature smell so I'd say it would be best suited to somebody over the age of 30. Yeah I get a solid 8 or 9 hours of performance out of this one and it projects really well for the first couple of hours. 
Uh, people will definitely notice this one when you walk past them or when you're within about six feet of them because the sillage for the first hour or so is very impressive. It's not an aggressive in your face type fragrance though, it's very refined and it does just enough to get you noticed without screaming and choking out the whole room. I always tend to apply fragrances to my clothes as well as my skin as I feel that I just get the best of both worlds when I do that. Um, so for this I would give this one about an 8 out of 10 for its performance. It's not beast mode but it is really decent. Yeah, you can now pick up a 100ml bottle like this one for around 40 or £50 if you shop around. And for that price, I can't give this fragrance a score of any less than a 10 out of 10. This is basically a niche quality scent at the price of an entry-level designer fragrance. If you haven't already tried this one, I would urge you to give it a try because I think some of the line uh, are now going discontinued and they're going to get a little bit harder to find. So that's my review for my, one of my favourite scents. Um, if, if I was asked to keep only 10, of my, uh, 10 fragrances out of the whole of my collection, this would definitely make it into that 10. So that is uh, L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum, and that's by the house of Galan. Yeah, so that's about it for today's scent of the day. Um, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be talking about an absolute classic fragrance that's been around for over 60 years now and it's still going strong. But until then, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you at the same time tomorrow. Bye bye for now.